All right, so in this video, we're gonna learn how to solve multi-step inequalities. And the way you solve multi-step inequalities is basically the same as um, solving multi-step equations. So if you're not familiar with solving equations, please see my video, Solving Multi-Step Equations, because it's a very similar process with distributive property, combining like terms, and inverse operations, all right? The only added piece when you're solving multi-step inequalities is when um, you're dividing or multiplying um, both sides of the inequality, you're going to flip that inequality symbol. So flip the inequality symbol when dividing or multiplying both sides by a negative number. So as an example, if I just have a 2x or negative 2x is less than 6. To solve that inequality, I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 2, okay? And since I'm dividing both sides by a negative 2, my inequality symbol flips from less than to greater than. So that's the only added piece when you're solving multi-step inequalities. You just have to remember to flip that inequality symbol when you're dividing or multiplying both sides by a negative number. So both sides meaning, if I have this, if I have two X is less than negative six, all right? To solve this, I'm dividing both sides by a positive two. So since I'm dividing by a positive number, I do not flip the symbol because I divided both sides by a positive two. So it doesn't matter if your numerator is negative, you have to look at what you're dividing or multiplying both sides by to flip the inequality symbol. So again, that is the only added piece to solving multi-step inequalities, all right? So I have a sample problem right here. So let's go ahead and work this problem out and graph the solution. So we solve it the same way we solve uh, multi-step equations, inverse operations, I bring down my 7x, distributive property. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8. Bring down my negative 2. Combining like terms, 7x minus 2x is 5x plus 8. Now I'm left with just a two-step inequality. Subtract 8. I'm left with negative 10 is greater than... 5x. So I'm dividing both sides by a positive 5. So in this case, I'm not going to flip the inequality symbol. Not an equal. All right. Cancels out. So that is x is less than negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. All right. So now let's graph this um, solution to this inequality. Okay. So I've drawn a small number line here to graph my solution. I read that as negative two is greater than X or X is less than negative two. So it's easier to kind of flip it to see how we graph it. X, that smaller side is towards my X. So X is less than negative two, all right? And so I don't have it equal to sign underneath. All right, so up here is going to be an open circle, not shaded because we simply read this as x is less than negative two. So negative two will not be included in my answer. All right, so open circle, x is less than negative two. So these are all my values less than negative two on my number line. So I shade to the left because these are all my values less than negative two. So I've graphed this inequality, um, solved it first and then graphed it. Just remember, um, if you have not, if you don't have an equal to sign underneath, it's going to be an open circle. So negative two would not be included in the solutions to this inequality. All right. So I've solved and graphed this uh, multi-step inequality. All right. So I have one more inequality that we're going to solve and graph on a number line. All right. So I have four minus. Uh, R minus 2 is greater than 3 minus 5. So my first step, I'm just going to bring down a 4. This is a minus. 
that's an understood one in front. So it's like multiplying a negative one through. So I'm just going to put in a one. So negative one times R is negative R. Negative one times negative two is a positive two. So you're basically just distributing through a negative and you're really just changing the sign. All right. Simplifying my right hand side, I get three minus five. That is negative two. All right. So my like terms over here are four and two. That is six. Bring down my R. And again, these are like terms because they're both constants. They don't have a variable attached. Bring down the negative two. I want to get my R by itself. So I subtract six. I'm left with negative R because I have that minus in front is greater than negative two minus six. That is negative eight. I still don't have my R by itself. I haven't isolated the R. Again, this is an understood one or negative one in front of the R. So my last step is to multiply both sides, or not multiply, divide both sides by a negative one. So now if you remember, what happens when you divide both sides by a negative one? We're going to flip that inequality symbol. So instead of greater than, it changes to less than. So uh, negative cancels out. Greater than changes to less than because I'm dividing by a negative number. That gives me a positive 8. So my solution is R is less than 8. My inequality symbol flips again because I divided both sides by a negative number. So we've solved this inequality, so now let's graph it. All right, so I have a little number line here. R is less than 8. Open circle over 8 on our number line. Shading all my values that are less than eight on the number line. And so I've solved this inequality and graphed the solutions on a number line. And again, I don't have that equal to sign underneath. So it is an open circle because um, eight is not a solution to that inequality. All right. So for our last example here, we're going to solve this multi-step inequality with fractions. So if you're not quite familiar with how to do that, please see my video, Multi-Step Equations with Fractions, because I'm going to use the same process. And that process is multiplying everything by the least common denominator. All right. So my denominators here are 6, 3, and 4. So my factors of 6 are um, 6, or my multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, and so forth. Multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 12, and 18. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12. What number keeps being repeated or keeps being repeated is 12. So 12 is my least common denominator between these three denominators. So I'm going to multiply everything by 12. And that way it's going to eliminate all of these fractions here. All right. So if I multiply 12 by 1, 6. Um, 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 6. 12 divided by 6 is 2. All right. And then 12 times 2 thirds. So this is like a 12 over 1. So I'm multiplying numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, and reducing it. All right. So 12 times 2 is 24 divided by 3. So 24 divided by 3 is 8 and bring down my M, all right? And then 12 times 1 fourth, you could say, okay, what's a fourth of 12? Or 12 times 1 is 12, and divide that by 4, that gives me 3. So I've eliminated all of my fractions here. And if you can't quite do the fractions in your head, write it out on the side. If you need to do that, write 12 over 1 times 1 6. 12 over 6 is 2. Do that if you need to. Um, let's see. Uh, 12 over 1 times negative 2 thirds. 12 times 2 is negative 24 or negative 2. Divided by 1 times 3 is 3. That reduces to negative 8. So if you can't do the fractions in your head, there's nothing wrong with writing them out on the side there. All right. I'm going to erase it for the sake of space. All right, 
So now I'm just left with a two-step inequality. Solving for m, subtract 2. I'm left with negative 8m is greater than or equal to 3 minus 2. That is 1. I'm going to divide by a negative 8. So again, what happens? Because I'm dividing by a negative number, my inequality symbol flips from greater than to less than. So my answer is m is less than or equal to negative 1 8. I just left it as a fraction, okay? And so in order to graph that, negative um, 1 8 is just in between 0 and negative 1 on the number line. It'll be closer to 0 on the number line. Um, on the left hand side because it is negative and that is going to be a shaded circle because I have that equal to sign underneath so shaded and this is just the estimation of where it would be I'm just going to put negative 1 8 here and then it says it's less than negative 1 8 so I'm going to just shade to my left all right so we've saw this inequality with fractions, and we've graphed the fraction on the number line. All right. Hopefully, you understand inequalities a little bit more now. And thank you for learning with me.